Spiritual Apotheosis is the debut full-length album from Void Womb, a northern Portuguese black death metal band, and I would say their sound generally leans a little bit more towards uh, eccentric black metal, blackened death metal, and uh, maybe just black metal in general in terms of the way that their instrumentation works out and the way that these songs are written. Uh, some of the drumming and the rhythms in general do form around black and death metal admixtures. There's some bestial death metal touches in there in terms of some abrupt tempo changes and movements, but I wouldn't say that this is a death metal album up front. Their initial EP from 2021, which I also reviewed, was definitely in that direction. It was more of a death metal album in its register in the focus of the vocals being a little bit more brutal and uh, the riffs just being a little bit more, a little bit less abstract overall, uh, more abrupt. And this record is a different subject, different theme. It has more to do with virtually amorphous movement transcendence into the divine, uh, a need to transcend beyond the mundane in general. And I sent, a lot of what this record wants to do is move beyond the flesh into the next realm, and that's more or less relayed within the actual content of the music, as it's always in some manner of phase shift in moving from point to point in a, a manner that conveys change and the torsion felt upon the flesh and the senses as things are changing. Uh, if that's a little bit too esoteric to fully grasp all that it means is that this record is constantly in flux and i might want to compare it to some of their obvious influences in the past like bolzer and inquisition they've named these influences even but this record doesn't necessarily focus so much on in one place and create a hook or a catchy moment they just move from point a to point b and usually you get one riff as a focal point and that's usually it's a standout riff with a little bit of heavy metal gusto behind it in the black death metal style which you'll recognize if you've been following black death metal for at least the last 10 years and the way that occult black metal specifically approaches form and function so what we'll do is we'll cut to a song right now and get a sense of what, what that means in practical terms <laughs> Now, this is not an uncommon problem to have uh, when it's a, a new band coming up with a, a debut album just a couple of years into their, their gig. They started back in 2019. This record starts out with its strongest song and sets a bar that it can't necessarily match up to throughout the entire thing. Metemp Psychosis is the strongest, most vigorous, and uh, aggressive piece overall. It's got the most riffs. It's got the most variety in terms of showing off the vocalist's range. And it's obviously a very important event in the narrative of this album. But as they convey this story step by step, song by song, they lose that abruptness. And it only comes back a little bit in the journey of the seven minute uh, side B piece that kicks things off on that end. Uh, and so we get less of the emergent uh, death metal interruption Interruptions and the crazed vocal tirades and to, to the point where when Vessel Void shows up it feels like that is a more abstract and atmospheric side of the band making itself better known and Azoth uh, shows up right after to remind us that this band can have that Bolzer-esque moment where they, they strike in with something that's at least a little bit heavy metal in the way that it manifests. If my description of this seems more it's, it's because it is. It's, this is generally a difficult to pin down style and I would say that this only becomes more true as the record passes along and we find a lot of these points are less complicated than they appeared there aren't as many layers to this production value as i thought and a lot of what they're doing is very simple and uh, it's, it's more about going through the motions and creating that atmosphere than it is about the riffs and the complex reveals that you felt like that i felt like were important to the first half of the album there's a couple of dud songs that really don't hit when they're isolated outside of the flow of the full listen and uh, these are just the kind of things that bands typically go through as they kind of get their knack going and as their the way that they do things reveal
reveals itself. And I feel like this is a great first step for the band, but it's not anything that is fleshed out enough to truly impress uh, year after year, day after day, and, and really become uh, an addiction for me, something that I would really like to dive into again and again. I think I like everything that they're doing here. I like the la I know the language that they're speaking. I can tell that they are great fans of this type of music and they're finding their own voice in it. This is a first strike at that, and it's, it's certainly above demo level. This is a professional, well-curated album with great album art, and uh, they're doing everything right here. It's just a matter of maybe the songs haven't quite come together to find what's entirely special about Void Womb besides the admixture of forms. But we, we never quite get to that moment of the big reveal beyond that first song that says, this is a big deal. So uh, it's more than serviceable, but it's also not so special that it uh, sticks in mind and uh, demands its presence uh, is important just yet. So I think if you're looking for something atmospheric and surreal, but also has riffs, there's uh, a lot of good qualities to this record. Uh, it's just not, it's not quite perfection. Yet. And I want them to keep going with it and to keep uh, chipping away at making all of these uh these things that they put into this work because i think they have a great idea this is above average though for a debut and i did enjoy it quite a bit uh, it's a moderately high recommendation for me that releases today april 26th you can check this out right now and uh, see what you think see if it uh, maybe this stands out more for you and it's just the right combination for your taste so uh see, see what you think